Hey guys, welcome to the Total War Podcast. I am Tom, and today I am interviewing Mr. Mate. Hello, Mr. Mate. Good day, guys. How you going? So, um, let's just get straight into interview. Um, what was the initial thing which caused you to record and upload videos? Um, I actually did it on like a... It was kind of like a spur in the moment thing. I uh, had just bought the game Shank 2, and um, it's like an indie game. It's like a side scroller, And... My mate had just given me fraps for, I can't remember why. <laughs> and I just did it. And it was something that I was like nervous about. I'm like, what if my mates find out what I'm doing and stuff like that? So I kind of, I was kind of like weird about it, but I put it up and surprisingly enough, I actually got like six comments on it. And that was huge back then for having, you know, zero subscribers. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. So I got like six comments, people asking me to do collabs and stuff or like other people. And yeah, just, it was really just a spare moment thing. I didn't do Total War for like the first three, four months of my of my channel. It was always, I always played Total War, I just didn't upload it because I thought, you know, no one does it until I found Air of Carthage and stuff. And, I mean, like, I, did, I never expected people to, to sit there and watch, the, you know, half an hour videos of yeah, people yeah, that's playing true. Total War. That's, that's the same with me with Prince Maston. I, I, until you, I actually typed it in, you don't know, so. Yeah, yeah. So that's, uh, hey, that's, that's what made you start, okay. Yeah. So, um, a lot of people will know this, where are you from? Yeah, from Australia. Australia. <laughs> <laughs> that's quite easy. That's quite, uh, all right. Um, what's your favorite thing about uploading to YouTube? Um, I think it's the very generic response of uh, like the thing about being a like a YouTube uploading stuff is the comments and stuff. Just mm. uh, you know, getting some comments about things that you you know when you come down to it, as much as some people would like to say, you know, YouTube is a skill. I mean, things that you do, Tom, like uh, video editing and 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 photo stuff like that. Yeah. Like that's a skill. But in terms of you know recording your voice and uploading it, it's just doing what people do anyway. And I think Snow always says it right. It's just playing by adding your voice to it. Yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. it's good to see people, you know, um, comment and 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 support you and stuff like that for for those things. And obviously, the other part of it is, uh, you know, talking to the rest of you lads, you know, um, people yeah, that yeah. you would have never met in, in, in any other circumstance. But yeah, it's just like finding new things that are completely different. So Yeah. Yeah, so um, how many videos have you uploaded so far? Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay, it's right here. Um, <laughs> 283, but uh, there are quite a few of them that aren't released. Um, yeah. Because I just have these like random things. Where I'm like, oh, this might make a good series. Don't release it. <laughs> so yeah, um, a lot of my videos are just sitting there. I may release them in the future for just like some special things, but I don't know. Yeah. Cool. All right. What type of videos are you looking to do in the future? Um. Well, for those that know me and stuff, I like to do different things. So, hopefully in the future, I change it up a lot and do um, you yeah, know, very very much unique videos especially obviously total Rome total or two mm. but uh you know um I, I don't want to just do i don't want to be try to be the first dude to the let's play because we all know that you know one of the bigger people will get the game earlier or something like that so that's that's just kind of a so it's not going to happen yeah, yeah. Ooh, it's happening in my house um <laughs> and yeah we we just know that you know small youtubers won't get the chance to be the first people with it but I think to make up for that fact, I'll try to do something completely unique. And um, I know, Tom, you spoke about an idea earlier. I'm not going to share it here. <laughs> but, um, you know, we are going to try to do something unique and stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. We, we all like to be different. Yeah. Anyway, back to Total War. What is your favorite Total War game? Um, everyone so far that I've interviewed, you know, everyone else has said that Rome or Medieval. Mm. Um, I am probably the only person so far everyone I've spoken to. My favorite is actually Shogun 2. Okay. Um, Everyone says, no, it's not Shogun, they don't like Shogun. I, I love Shogun because I'm more of the technical person who likes the graphics and animations and the setting and all that. Yeah, um, yeah. Obviously, because it's the latest one, of course, it's going to have the best graphics. And that's what I just love about it. It was, it's, it, it, sh it, it was showing the potential of what Total War can become. Um, you know, if you ever just zoom in and, and, and get rid of the hard of that game, you watch the, you know, the summer I fight it out, you can just, it's, it's insane. I um, always said that, Total War has, you know, the same graphics as some third-person shooters go games go. So, mm. if you can have like ten thousand people on the screen that look as good as a game that focuses on three people, yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty insane. Awesome. I think um, sorry, just um, I think a lot of people pick very more medieval because of the time period, but uh, yeah, but I'm not sure. Anyway, um, 
Yeah, what is your favourite playable faction that you've seen so far for Rome 2? Um, Rome. <laughs> Which I think, again, is something not a lot of people choose. I think a lot of people, you know, I don't mean to be anything, but a lot of people try to be hipsters about <laughs> Total War, <laughs> and they try to choose the faction that doesn't, you know, win, or doesn't thing, and there's no problem with that. Um, but Rome is just this, it's it's always been my favourite, you know, just being the dominating power in the land, mm. and, and, you know, this giant cohesive unit moving in one in one big like attack and the Romans are just insane insanely strong they've got you know some of the best infantry they're one of the only factions yes they did use hammer and anvil nearly every faction used hammer and anvil but yeah yeah um Romans were some of the people you know from what I know uh, they didn't really rely on it they could destroy your army just with infantry it's true yeah so you know I, I like that fact that you know they could they always came out most of the time they always came out on top mm. Well, and you don't mess with Rome, which yeah. is another thing I love. Yeah, well, Rome were the, were the first um, professional army. Yeah, in, one of the, one of the first. I think. I think I think they they were the first actually. Couldn't yeah. you, you couldn't you debate that the Spartans were? Ah, oh, that's true. And you could debate that. I don't know. There's a lot of things people try to say that I don't know. Though I'm not a complete historian, but yeah, um, in a general sense, they were the first army to be paid and stuff. I think. Oh yeah. So, yeah. yeah anyway, it's, it's always good people always have to get paid. Anyway, <laughs> what's the biggest thing in Rome two that you were looking forward to? Um, again, I think I'd have to say the graphics and, and the, the game and the, the animations and stuff adding to it. Oh, yeah, uh, of course. Yeah, again, I think it's different to what other people say because everyone was looking forward to, you know, the naval land battles, which are insane, of course, and it hasn't been seen before. But, mm. I mean, if you you look at the development videos they've been doing, you see the those insane animations and flipping people over their shields and then stabbing them and... Yeah, yeah. Uh, even even the horses can kill people now. So <laughs> the horse just kicks in the head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I mean that's just in, incredibly insane. Awesome. All right, so out of all the all the Total War games, what is your favorite mod? The mod. Um I think I'd have to go to the cliche one and say third age. Mm. I mean uh <laughs> yeah, it'd be down to third age or the Warhammer one. I would say the Warhammer one due to the fact that it actually it's actually bigger than the third age. Um, if you guys ever watch Thrill Beliefs one, you'll you'll see how big the map is and how many factions and details there are in it. But I'd say third age though because it's Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I mean that probably just you know. yeah. And they did such they did such a good job of that mod. Yeah, of course it, it's it's a completely different game. You wouldn't even think it's if you didn't know what Total War was, you'd think that you know the the Warner Brothers are developers. I don't know, whoever would yeah. the own it, you'd think they're the ones that, you know, license the game, so it's insane. Mm. Yeah, alright, so who is your favourite commentator? Of course it's me, but who's your, sec who's <laughs> your, who's your second favourite then? Um, my favourite commentator. So, like, who inspired me or just the favourite commentator? Yeah, um, who inspired you? Who's your favourite? Who, um, who do you find most interesting? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, that's a, that's a hard one, eh? When I asked this question, I didn't think it was so hard. <laughs> um, <laughs> they are your questions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Interesting commentator. I think the most time I've ever spent watching this person would be Eric Carthage on his Shogun multiplayer tactics videos. Oh, yeah. Um, that's because I watched that um, when I first got into Shogun to learn multiplayer and stuff. Mm. Uh, he kind of did inspire me to do the Let's Plays, but, you know... Um, I think a person that helped help inspire me to, to like to do more and to upload more was actually you, believe it or not. When um Oh really? <laughs> yeah, because you remember when we first met you were ahead of me by like three hundred subs. Oh yeah yeah. Three hundred subs. So I was like, Oh man, I can't sit back and do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I might as well so then I started to upload more and um got partnered and such. Started making that YouTube money. <laughs> that money, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, so um, probably Eric Carthage, you for that, and obviously called me with the whole professional side of it, but oh, yeah. yeah, of course, of course, called me with his good old Canadian wisdom. <laughs> Alright, awesome. Okay, so how has YouTube affected you in real life? Um, believe it or not, I think it's actually helped me out a lot more than I thought. Uh, when going to my college uh, and explaining what I wanted to do, I showed them. I gave her like a, I gave the lady I was speaking to a walkthrough on my channel and what I've done online, and that helped me uh, gain entrance to the college because, just a quick rundown. I don't want to be too boring, but a quick rundown of <laughs> what the college is. It's a, it's a, it focuses on certain things like business and journalism. Yeah. So, uh, you know, um, I chose not to go to university, but 
and I'm entering on semester two. So you usually have to do tests and stuff like that. But I showed that I have a knowledge of what I want to do and, you know, video games and, and stuff like that. So believe it or not, it's actually helped me gain a course. Um, awesome. Also, you know, I attend a lot of events such as IGN events and I'm going to another one soon for the Far Cry DLC. And these are just things from meeting people online that, are, you know, you, you expose yourself and say, hey, you know, this is what I do. And hopefully it, it helps you out in the long run. I mean... Like me and you always say, it's going to be great if one day Creative Assembly ever <laughs> contacts us. That's yeah, a, yeah. That's the dream. That's the dream. <laughs> yeah, it's affected me. And, you know, I'm, I don't want to, like, brag and stuff, but the money is not bad. Mm. It's not horrible, but yeah. Anyways. Money's ne never bad. We can never yeah. complain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what did you expect out of uploading videos? Uh, I always knew it was going to be hard. Um... And, you know, we all have that dream of waking up in the morning and having 50,000 subscribers. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, one day. <laughs> one day, one day. After round two, that day. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I kind of expected it to be a lot harder than the, than I thought, you know, with the setup and, and, and getting people to collab with and stuff. I thought that'd be a lot harder. Um, yeah, I thought it'd be a lot harder to make mates online because, you know, you, you don't know who they are. Mm. Um, but lucky enough, you know... We've only met a few people who I dislike online, yeah. <laughs> and uh, one or two that we just don't yeah get, don't get along with. But... Don't get along with, but the rest of it's pretty good, you yeah. know. Um, as long as you you show that you you can, you you have an open hand to helping someone out, and you know they're going to return the favor eventually. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. All right. So, were your expectations met? Um. Yeah. Other than the the thing of it being so hard. Uh, in certain cases, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Kind of short answer to that, yeah. Really. That's that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, have you felt that you've left a mark on the YouTube community? Um, to to be my fucking, I'm kind of up myself, but um, I would say in a certain sense. I mean, maybe not Mister Mate, but I would say the podcast, mm. at least. Um, I agree. I agree. You know, uh, maybe the podcast has done something, you know, brought all those people together. My personal channel, not as a whole, like, it's not like in 10 years people are going to be like, oh man, when's Mr. Mate going to upload again? But uh, it's going to be, it's just more like maybe just uh, Let's Plays um, that haven't been done before. But other than that, not really. I don't think, um, you know, the I don't think the Turtle community would, you know, collapse with, <laughs> with, my, with my absence. But yeah. Awesome. So, um, if you got the chance, would you make um, YouTube your job? Like, would you work on YouTube full time if you got the chance to? Um, I'm not sure. I think the whole thing of me being a reporter for a for a gaming thing is a slightly more you know, ten, like a entertaining thing for me. You know, actually getting to meet the developers and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But um, as of now, I am trying to you know grow my channel to the point where I could work it part time while I study, which would be insane because you know you just that means basically all my time is spent on video games. I'm either researching them or playing them. So that's that's what I'm aiming for now. So yeah, maybe part time, but I still wouldn't give up. Still wouldn't give up the chance to to do the college and stuff. Awesome. What's your favorite thing about the Total War community? Ah, uh, probably the lads. Eh, everyone <laughs> met. <laughs> the lads. Everyone we've met so far. I mean, insanely fun moments. Like last night, we did draw something. Yeah. And um yeah, that was classic. That was some classic fun right there. And just all the other things, you know, just um playing Mass Effect with Sapphire Phoenix and and all the random moments me and Snow have on Battlefield and then, you know, us playing Rome to Rome Total War or, or Mountain Blade. Zulu of course has some of the most epic moments. Oh yes. Many moments. And of course, yeah. <laughs> of course the subscribers cuz you know, I think my Steam list is nearly full. My friends list is nearly full and I mean there's so many people that have added me and and you know, just hit me up at random random times on Steam at like two in the morning. <laughs> I'm about to go to sleep, and like, you want to play a game? I'm like, nah, mate. But yeah, you know, just meeting new people. I think that's the biggest thing. Yeah, it's like meet and you're meeting people all over the world. I think that's the, that's the thing that I find cool as well. I'm sure you get yeah. the same feeling. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, w would you like to change anything in the Total War community, or do you? Think um. It's good? Yeah, most of it's good. I would like to see a bit more. Um, of the the bigger fellas, you know, giving a hand to the to the people who are on like you know 100 subs, 200 subs. Yeah, yeah. Um, because there are a lot of quality people out there who deserve the 
the recognition. It's true. Um, you know, everyone always gives that that excuse, like that thing though that you know they didn't have to help. Why should they have to help? It makes sense, you know. But uh, hopefully, as time goes on and Rome comes out, more people will join. You know, we'll be able to do our part as well to help out. And that's the only thing really. I'd love to. I I just want more variety because there's very few of us who are recognised um, as part of the Total War community. Yeah, yeah, true. So, um, from going from that, um, any tips that you would um, give to people who are starting on YouTube? Any like, um, tips? Of course, collabs. I mean, you'll always agree on that thing, I think. Hmm. Uh, working with other people, for sure. And the one thing I always push for people who are starting out is be um, unique. Do your own Let's Plays, do things people other people aren't doing. If it sounds like it's weird, do it, because you're going to get... Um, Subscribers for it. Lucas Serial believes his channel is built on doing weird <laughs> mods. Um, it's true. You look at your own channel, Tom, and you're like the only person who does the Zulu thing. Uh, yeah. So uh, things like that. I did the Pirates Let's Play, which I always bring up over and over again. But that's I, I'm the only one to do that. And Saxon Kick did the Dunland campaign. Mm. So do things other people aren't doing. Get in on it quick, and don't take it too seriously. Don't worry about the dislikes and and likes and stuff. Um, it, yeah. I'm just gonna point out. I'm um, just say something. Likes and dislikes, or well, especially the dislikes, they mean nothing. So yeah, don't get upset about them. <laughs> don't don't worry about dislike, because don't even take them as negative criticism. Take a comment. If someone comments saying, "Oi, your 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 mic is crap," take that as constructive criticism and improve mm. your audio. If someone just dislikes it and says nothing, don't worry about them, because most of the time it's just someone who's either annoyed with what you said in there or something. They don't say it. You can't help it. Because if, you, if you're not telling you what you did wrong, you can't help it. But yeah, I don't want to brag on too much about it. Yeah. yeah be unique and, and yeah. So you sort of saying um, be smart about it. Like think about what people would want to see. You know yeah. What I mean? So yeah. Okay, cool. So um, what are the challenges you have run into uploading? Like um, being Australian mainly. <laughs> yeah. Living here uh, with the upload speeds are horrible. And... That's really the only thing. I never had a problem with the computer because I have a decent computer. And ping. <laughs> oh, that ping. That, that ping. ping. Uh, but yeah, that's really that's really it. Just uploading and ping. Awesome. All right, last question for all your lovely subscribers. Do you have any sneak peeks or anything for like a new series st starting soon? Um. Well, I d already did announce a video that pirates are coming back. Um, yep. Do I have anything else that is starting? See, I have so many little projects going on in my mind that I don't even know. Um, there will be something starting soon, though. As, oh yeah, uh, there is a. I'm working on a movie type thing for um, my YouTube channel, which is a mix of multiple video games that I came up with an, an idea, and I'm going to need people to help me out with. Um, I'm not going to say what the games are yet because I'm yet to 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 do the test, but uh. Yeah, soon enough I'll be asking people to help out and just play role. Uh, uh, there won't be voice acting, but I just need people to help out in terms of moving units around and such and running around on the battlefield. But yeah, that's awesome. really all I can say for now. Awesome, so where you, where you, heard, it here, where you heard it from here first. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, make sure you you're subscribed to Marcus. Um, well, if you're subscribed to the Total Podcast, you should be anyway. Um, thanks, Marcus. That was a pretty sweet um, interview. And... Um, I'm sure you, you'll be interviewing some other YouTubers in in the upcoming weeks. Yeah, yeah, we'll be. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you later. See you, guys.